start off as a normal game. Then, it sprouted off into an addiction like no other. Valorant was this young man's whole life. He slept, ate, and breathed Valorant. He has also spent thousands of hours and dollars on this addiction. Let's hear what his parents think of the positives and negatives of his addiction. So how has Landis's addiction to gaming affected our family? Well, at first I would say Landis who, because we never see him. He is always in the basement in his room playing games. Uh, we hear a lot of yells. There's a lot of damage to furniture where he is breaking things because of his frustration. Um, he doesn't eat dinner with us because his priority is gaming. Um, and so when we have dinner ready, he doesn't show. So we never get to see him. But now, let's look at the positives of this game. Oh. What are some good things that have come out of Landis playing Valorant? Well, he has been recruited to go to a college prep boarding school to play on their esports team. He's playing in a premier club league this summer. He has been going to LAN events where he is competing with college students. Um, a lot of colleges are reaching out to him, wanting him to come play on their esports team, even though he's only a sophomore. Um, the chance of him getting a full ride scholarship to play esports is really high. Um, he has been called a 15-year-old prodigy by some college directors. We can only hope that he gets over his addiction and stops playing Valorant.